I want to ha hand it over to Aristotle now to um, talk about Firebase. So um, we're still recording here, Aristotle. Are you ready to, to kick things off and, and take over with the screen? Yeah, that sounds good. Great. All right. Let, are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. All right, cool. Um, all right, well, first thing is, is uh, can everybody see my screen? Firebase website? Yes. Um, all right, so yes. what we're going to do is, uh, so you just sign up for Firebase. Um, Firebase is basically a NoSQL uh, cloud-based uh, uh, database. Um, and, you know, it's very similar to Strapi in a way. Um, it has pre-built, like, authentication, and it actually has, um, you know, a few different, I think it has two different ways you can structure the backend in terms of the database. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're just gonna set up a, pro like create a new project and, uh, you know, we'll just call this like test, test, you know, uh, jam fire. And, uh, oh, whoops. All right. And then I'll uh, just create it and uh, just continue. And um, when I create a uh, new account, Jam Fire Real Time is what we'll name it. And we will accept the terms and conditions and create a project. Um, while that is being created, let's go to our, um, our, um, trying to go to our, like, terminal here, and, um, basically we'll, uh, create, um, a new folder, a new project here. So I'm not seeing the terminal. I'm not sure if you're sharing that or if other folks are seeing that. Okay, sorry. Um, it's okay. I wonder you if you, right now it just looks, I'm just seeing the, the blue background screen. Is anyone else seeing something different? And then I see your face right now. So I, I don't know if you have to, when you share, if you're sharing like oh. a specific window versus the whole computer. Okay, yeah. I see Hold code. On. Oh, do you? Yeah, well, I saw uh, VS Code on my end. Okay, I didn't see it. But maybe I'm missing it. Okay, I'm going to share it. Hold on. Okay. All right. Is that better? All right. So now that we've um, created our project, um, the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to go to our database. Um, tab and we have to change the uh we have, we have to create a database but then we're also going to have to change the permission um, so we create a test mode um, we can just do central time that's fine and then uh it's going to ask us um which type of database we want um, but while we're over here um, I, um, let's see, basically wanted to create a, all right, so I'm going to start a collection. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, whoops, wrong one. All right, cool. <laughs> Glad we caught that. And uh, we're going to change, I believe it's the rules. And we want to edit these rules to true. So that way we can bypass like any authentication that the database and Firestore um, requires. So we're going to publish that. All right, nice. And then we're going to go to our terminal. And I'm not sure how many people are new developers, but uh, I've only been developing for about two years. So, you know, every time I see a presentation, I, I think it's kind of helpful uh, 
you know, for the presenter to like not assume that I know something that maybe I, I should know, because uh, it's oftentimes so much information coming at you. Um, but essentially, we just want to create a, a, a React app. Um, yeah, so create, uh, what is it? Uh, what is, what is it? Yeah. Create React app. Create React app. And then we can name it. Um, uh, we can name it uh, one minute real time jam stack. And uh, this will basically create a uh, React app for us. Oh, wait. Because, okay, sorry, guys. Um, let's see if that works. Oh, the, I think sorry, it wants to get rid of the capital letter. Yeah. yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, thank you. It's very strict. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. I, and you know what's so funny? I don't even know why I randomly do that. <laughs> like I just randomly did that for no reason. Like I don't even normally do that. But, uh, I've never right, seen cool. capital letter restriction before. That's a yeah, right, right. That's uh, that's what recording does for you. <laughs> um, cool. So uh, yes. Yeah, so we're just gonna come back over here and. Um, um, so this is what our database looks like, but I'm uh, just, oh, here we go. So here's our configuration for our app. And now we, we basically need to configure um, the SDK that we're gonna use in our React app. So um, um, we'll name this uh, real-time uh, Jamstack. Hopefully that that's cool. Also set up. We can no. We'll, we'll just I guess leave that. I will we'll check it for now I guess and register the app. All right, cool. All right, so now we can basically just install um, Firebase into as a dependency into our into our app. Um, so I'm not sure why it's just taking a little bit of time, but uh, we'll get there. Here we go. Um, all right, we'll just continue. Uh, Literally, I feel like they just did an update between like today because <laughs> when I went through it earlier, it like was not there. So it's just kind of fun. Um, all right, cool. So here we are. And we want to see into our real time Jamstack app. Uh, we can, we're going to open it up and just kind of see what we have. Um, what we have. All right, cool. So we have a React app built essentially. Uh, a uh, you know basic um, React app. So let's let's see what we have, and we'll start basically editing um, the file so that um, you know, we can get some results. Right. And there we are. All right, cool. So I generally. Um, we'll just sometimes with React you can create, you know, specific components and um, kind of call those components, uh, you know, from from or import them or export them from different places. Uh, but for our sake, we're just uh, you know we're just going to create a a class component um, here. And I actually wrote the, I did some of the code already, so we can just probably save some time and. Just copy and paste it. Um, but yeah, essentially what we're going to do is uh, just create a a text field. So um, like basically you'll just have you know a text field that um, you can enter. Uh, so we created like a, a state for text, and uh, we created a, a handle method as to uh, what to do with that text. So basically this this e um, is an is an event method that lets um, 
you know, on the front end that communicates with the front end as to the, to target the value of the text. Um, so that's that's the that's the state manager. And then over here we actually have a, a method. So we created a a handle method. So what to do with the message um, that's uh, going to be inputted into the box, um, and we basically set up the a push to the uh, Firebase database uh, referencing uh, this this message and um, kind of having that state uh, accept um, basically a, like any random text. So right now there's like no parameters. You could put in gibberish and uh, it'll it'll go to the, the, the uh, app. And uh, basically over here is just the simple, uh, the, the, what we're gonna render out of the app. Um, and so with this is just created a div um, with a class name, so we can obviously position uh, the te the uh, text box or this this div um, on the front end, and we created this input uh, field that obviously takes the type text, and we call the uh, handle text method or uh, action from up here. Uh, on this uh, on change uh, input. So basically like on something being inputted into the box, um, submit it to, and this is again, the on click handler here. Um, so I, I basically already um, wrote this code. So we just, just copy and paste it, uh, to save us some time. Um, and as a developer, I usually try to write, write my notes out and all that good stuff just so um, you know, everything's all good. So, uh, but yeah, so we have an error obviously, and we know where it's coming from, but as a developer, we want to open our console anyway, and, um, just kind of see what's going on. Um, so, uh, one of the next things that we want to do is create a file, um, and we can call it, it's like fire JS. Um, and essentially, uh, so this is our Firebase config. Um, this is a little different from the one that we just created. So uh, we can come over here and get the, um, oh, we can get the, um, Wait, I'm just uh, into database. Um, just, so it's just like, yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here it is, the config. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just want to copy and paste, uh, the, um, the Firebase config and, um, basically we want to import, um, uh, I think it's import Firebase from, whoops, uh, Firebase. And then, uh, we just want to put the config in here and, we basically need to create um, another variable to um, export the Firebase uh, config, like to initialize um, the, the database uh, app. Um, so we can just copy this, whoops, whoops. And uh, then we can export default file. Um, and funny thing is that I uh, just realized <laughs> that we never installed Firebase um, as a dependency. So um, yeah, let's let's do that. Um, I. Pretty sure, oh wait, we can go to, I think, yeah, so the repo that I created uh, for this, um, 
has links to uh, the dependencies and other things that we need to do. Uh, so here's the install right here. So we can just basically copy and paste. Oh, that's not working. It has the dollar sign of, uh, in the front of it. Oh, so, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, right, okay, thank you. All right, so yeah, dash dash save, uh, Firebase, and we'll um, install that dependency. Uh, meanwhile, let's just kind of go in and see what's going on. And you can check your package JSON and see if or see when the Firebase um, is finished installing. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, while we wait for that, let's go to our uh, app.css and basically clean this out. So we don't, um, we really don't need much of that. Uh, we can just, I just created like just uh, some simple CSS uh, just for the sake of um, positioning the, the text box and changing the background in the app. So let's see. Looks like everything might be done. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Uh, ah, here we are. Okay, cool. So we have our input field and we have our save button. Um, Let's go back to our Firebase console, to our database, and um, let's see if we can, if we have something here. Uh, so we'll just click that and see if, have any results? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see. Um, I don't. Uh, no, this is not right. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I'm in the wrong thing again. I don't know why that that happens sometimes. Oh, but so it looks like we do have something. So. Yeah, so that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of the magic, you know. That's uh, that's kind of the the simple deed here, you know. Um, I think Firebase, you know, for me is literally I just you know the config for the backend is just super simple, and we already have you know Score app uh, uh, already here. So yeah, I mean that's the uh, that's the benefit of of uh, you know real time database, and um, you know just allows you to to do things and get results kind of quick. You know, you can easily scale and, and, and build. So, I mean, that kind of covers everything I had to say and, and show you guys, you know, super simple and uh, to the point. Great, let's, uh, let's give it up for Aristotle. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Good job, Aristotle. Thank you, thank you. It was my first time doing this, you know, and. Uh, you know, I just want to thank Lucas, you know, for, for uh, walking the walk and talking the talk in, in so many ways and, uh, you know, affording me and extending me the opportunity to kind of achieve a huge milestone in my young, uh, you know, engineering career. So just thank you guys uh, so much for the opportunity. And uh, you know, it was really exciting for me. Yeah, no, th thank you guys for presenting. You guys, I mean... It's so much work to put together a presentation like these guys did. Um, live demos are so hard to do, <laughs> and they take like so much prep. Like a minute of live demo takes yeah half hour, hour of prep time. So these guys really put yeah. some time into this. So um, yeah. big thank you to you both for doing that. Um, so I was thinking it's about 7.40 now, so we have like 20 more minutes um, on this. And I was thinking um, of just doing questions. I'd like to kind of 
group them maybe if we could just because it'll make splicing up the video afterwards i'll, I'll put jesse's questions um with jesse's video and i'll put aristotle's questions with aristotle's video so um, well since we just saw that presentation we want to do some firebase questions first and then um we'll move over and do the strappy questions second and then we can have if we have any left over time we can just open up to whatever talk about whatever people want to talk about does that sound okay with folks so um do we have any questions for aristotle with the firebase presentation That's so good. That means uh, I did a good job explaining it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a question. So, um, so you, you spun up the service really quick, which was awesome. It didn't like even take a ton of configuration on the Firebase side to do, which was really cool to see. Is there a, like, is it a paid model? Is it a subscription model that you pay for this service, or is it have a free tier, or how does that all work? Yeah, um, yeah. So it's actually, question? it's actually, it's it's free. Firebase is free to start. Um, but I've actually heard some kind of funny business about like if you start to scale, uh, you know, really well with your company, that you can kind of rack up a, a high hosting bill. Mm -hmm. um, so there are different tips and tricks, I think, to, you know, splice up, you know, the cost or at least mitigate the cost. But uh, as far as I, as far as I know, it's uh, it's relatively free. You know, does it cost you anything? I think until you start to host, maybe. Cool. Yeah. And that that sounds awesome. And then it so you you showed like the the intake of coming from your Jamstack website going to Firebase and saving information. D does it offer something similar to Strapi where you can build out content on the back end and then display that on the front end in the reverse direction, or is it? Yeah, yeah. So that's really interesting, and and honestly, that's why I was uh, Strappy seems really like. I mean, I, I'm 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 a fan of Strappy. I think I'm going to do some research and and figure it out because I thought that was uniquely uh, different. Is that you could do so much more with Strappy on the back end than you probably could with Firebase. I think Firebase has uh, the traditional real time model, which I love because it's very similar, to like MongoDB you know, very open and you can sort of input anything you want and it'll just store, um, you know, those data values in the uh, uh, key value pairs that you set, which is phenomenal. Um, but I, but it does have on the, when you do the cloud service, it's a little bit more um, relational. And so I believe you can edit more on the back end. Uh, the relationships and then uh, basically draw the connection on the front end with the input fields and the types. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So, yeah, thank you for those questions. Uh, thank you. Sure. Does anyone else have questions for Aristotle? Right. I have one more quick one. One more quick one, Aristotle. And then I'll thank let you off the hook. You. Um, thank you, thank is, you. Is, is, there, is there a way to pull down the information that's stored in Firebase into like, um, a MySQL database or something that you could then import into another system? Or is it when it's in Firebase, it kind of lives there and then you interact with the API through um, like REST? Uh, yeah, endpoints? yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's uh, that's what I'm, I'm actually starting to get into that a little bit, thinking about different relationships and transaction types and different payment types. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, to answer your question, it's um, you can interact. I think it's mostly done um, through like the code and through those uh, RESTful endpoints uh, through HTTP requests. Yeah, so you have to create those and then make the calls. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's but it's super simple to, to, to manipulate. I think Firebase allows you, uh, 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 like allows what seems like a complex idea to start to form in a way that, you know, becomes very tangible. You know, you don't have to spend so much time thinking about the relationships or trying to build out you know, the nuances, it's almost like you can just create something and, you know, like get it up off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And it looks like uh, David LeBlanc um, chatted a question here. So the question is, does Firebase support GraphQL directly? Do you know if it does? Uh, that I don't No, I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, I've been really focused on uh, using Firebase uh, with Stripe and Plaid. Um, mm -hmm. m mostly payment uh, platforms, um, but no, I'm not. I'm not super familiar, but I'm, I'm sure there's uh, documentation out there, and I'm sure uh, there's a video or uh, some sort of resource out there that will make it super easy. I know Firebase has a phenomenal uh, YouTube uh, support channel, 
um, where they give talks and they're super helpful. So it wouldn't surprise me if there was a Firebase GraphQL tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> Cool. You know. Hey, Aristotle, I actually have a question for you, my man. Um, hey, what's up? Does Google have any further, like, you know, Q&A for Firebase? So suppose um, that question that was asked regarding GraphQL, could you um, probably access it on, like, the Fire, like a, a Firebase forum board, like, similar mm -hmm. to, like, a Stack Overflow or, or a Stack Exchange? That's a really good question, Lucas, and I should probably do some research into that. Uh, I haven't come across anything um, in my research, and I think that's mainly because I've been s focused on something very specific. Um, but no, I, I haven't really come. I, I haven't come across any uh, single place where um, there's a lot of development uh, community uh, interaction. To be honest. Um, believe Firebase is relatively self-explanatory and uh, the documentation uh, is so clean and clear, uh, similar to Strapi, that I think, you know, it, it sort of supports itself in a way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do some more, some more digging. And if I come across something that I'll happily uh, send it to the group and send it to you. Yeah, sounds good. All right, man. Thank you, dude. Awesome. Um, okay. Any other questions for Aristotle before we move over to following up on the strappy questions? <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks again, Aristotle. That was really great. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you did an awesome job. Thank you. Great job, Aristotle. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs>